Happy Halloween, little pandas, and I'm here today with Pumpkinella and Slick Breadstick. Hey, Slick Breadstick, are you ready for Halloween? Oh yeah, Pumpkinella, I can't wait to get dressed up in my costume. So Pumpkinella is going to be transformed into a jack-o'-lantern. To begin with, I am using some acetone to remove Pumpkinella's eyes. And I just do this so I can get a full coverage of paint. And she's already orange, so I'm just using this ceram coat uh, acrylic paint. And it's this almost the same color as Pumpkinella, but it has some glitter in it because I wanted to make her a glitter Shopkins, just like the ultra rares from season one. And so I used my big brush to do um, all of her body and then my little brush to do the leaves. And look at her, she came out so awesome. Look at that shine on her. Now using an ultra tiny um, brush, I am going to draw triangles for her eyes, triangle for her nose, and then we'll give her the jagged mouth just like a pumpkin. So Pumpkinella is getting her Halloween costume on today. Well, her mouth and face are all on and I'm just going in with some white paint and I'm gonna give her some little eyes, kind of like Shopkins eyes, uh, with a little bit of white and then we're gonna poke in her little pupil uh, right in the middle of that half circle that we made. And she's done! I love her, what do you guys think? Does she look good in her costume, guys, or what? And now it's time for Slick the Breadstick to put on his mummy costume. So to customize him, I am using this basic titanium white acrylic paint. But before I paint him, I am using acetone again to remove his face and his hat. And I do that again to get a full coverage of the white paint. And that way none of the black pokes out underneath the white paint. So using this uh, thick, wide brush, I am just going to slather on two coats of white paint. Two coats is enough to cover all of the orange. And then let it dry. Now I'm using a ebony black paint, so it's just solid black. And uh, again, I'm using a really, really fine brush to draw on the mummy strips of fabric. Um, the easiest way to start this off is by making a triangle in the middle. And so this is kind of where his face is gonna be. This is where we're gonna put his eyes and his mouth. And then using the thin brush, you're just going to put uh, really thin strips going in different directions 
all over Slick's body, all over the front and the back and the top, and he's totally looking like a mummy to me. This is gonna take a while, so be patient. You can make your own pattern, your own design for the mummy strips, because I, I guarantee you it's gonna look so super awesome, regardless of how yours looks. I know it's gonna look super cool. So let's just get all of these strips of fabric in. So all the strips of fabric are in. Uh, I have switched to a really soft pink paint and I am just gonna put in a really cute little smiley face here. And for the eyes, it's too small to actually draw them. So what I'm using are these really, really tiny uh, googly eyes and I'm gonna make them stick with nail polish. So to seal slick, I am using just some clear nail polish and I am putting a coat all over him so that way none of the paint none of the paint rubs off especially since we put so much time into getting all of these little strips of fabric in so while the uh, nail polish is still wet I am just pushing the eyes into the wet nail polish and they will stay no problem so one eye there and they're super tiny but I love them they're so cute and the second eye doesn't want to stick. I'll use my finger, and there he is. And here they are, look at how cute. So Pumpkinella and Slick Breadstick, and so here is Slick the Mummy. Super awesome. What do you guys think? Do you love these Halloween Shopkins? And here's Pumpkinella, who turned turned into Jackonella. Thanks for watching, little pandas. Have a safe Halloween.